Hi there! So today we're going to talk about sudden cystic acne. So I had a friend of mine approach me a few weeks ago about her sudden cystic acne. She's, and, and she's been struggling with that for about eight months now. So what happened is she tried a new product and she started breaking out on this product. And the second she broke out, she just stopped using it. But the acne didn't go away. And it's been eight months, she's tried various products and nothing is helping. And because she knew that I'm a qualified skincare therapist, she approached me to find out what can she do to, to what can she do or what's causing this sudden breakout on her skin. Because in the past, she would get one or two pimples here, but it was never as bad as what it is right now. So today we're going to discuss what could be causing her sudden cystic acne, could it be the new product or could it be something else? So my name is Ora Mukhele and I love teaching ladies how to achieve a clear skin through good nutrition and a great skincare regimen. So before we get into it, I just want to say that I don't struggle with acne. I've never struggled with acne. Um, I, be I get a breakout here and there before my monthly cycle. It's normally around my mouth and chin and then once my period comes, it goes away. But I've got a BTEC degree in somatology, making me a qualified skincare therapist. Um, I've done skincare for four years. I've studied um, anatomy and physiology for two years. I've done nutrition for four years. Um, I have over 10 years experience in the skincare industry. And that makes me an expert. It does. It makes me qualified to speak about this right now. So let us get into it. Um, so it is true that when you do start using a new product, you can find that you are getting a breakout on your skin. What happens is, but normally the ingredients in products, it's the ingredients in the product that actually make you break out. So if the products typically have alpha hydroxy acids, beta hydroxy acids, vitamin A, those things can actually make you break out. Um, but even then, they are not causing new breakouts. They are actually bringing out any congestion that's under your skin up into the surface. So sometimes you might have smaller yellow pimples or little pimples, baby pimples forming under your skin and it just brings them straight up to the surface. It's a good thing. It's called a healing crisis, by the way. It normally lasts about four to six weeks. It's actually a good thing because your skin is detoxing itself. But it is annoying, I understand. You don't want that, but it's a good thing it's happening. Embrace it. After the healing crisis is over, your skin will be beautiful. Okay, but in my friend's case, it couldn't have been a healing crisis because um, the second she got breakouts, I mean, she stopped using the product, but the pimples didn't go away. So what else could have caused her breakouts? There's three things that could have caused a breakout. It could so number one, it could be wearing a mask. So right now with us living through a pandemic, we are all wearing these babies, these masks over here. It's essential you wear this out in public, guys. It protects yourself and others from the coronavirus. So please, please, please wear this, even though it does cause acne, unfortunately. So there's something called acne mechanica. It's caused when pressure, friction, heat, and sweat are on your skin constantly. It causes something called acne mechanica, and a mask does this beautifully. If you think about it, the mask is on your skin, um, and throughout the day, you're moving your face, causing friction, number one. And then as you are breathing in your mask, you're creating a humid, hot environment in this area, and this dehydrates your skin. Now, when our skin is dehydrated, it starts making more oil. Two, with the mask forming a physical barrier against us and the environment, it actually limits oxygen flow to your skin. And we've got bacteria, again, that lives on our skin called the P. acnes. That bacteria loves an environment with no oxygen. So it starts multiplying and reproducing and and, and that with the dehydration literally causes acne on our skin. So that's something to all, so, so that's how a mask contributes to acne. The only way to manage this 
is by being very consistent with your skincare routine. Now, if you don't have a skincare routine or you are not sure what to include in your skincare routine, please download. I've got a free guide called Four Steps to a Clear Skin. It's in the links. Download that. Um, it's completely free. It's going to take you through the four steps or the four things you've got to be doing weekly to make sure that your skin is clear, clean and glowing. Um, second thing that could be causing your breakouts is hormones. Now, as females, we've got a whole monthly cycle thing that goes on with us. And like I said earlier, I break out just before my monthly cycle. Throughout your cycle, what happens is estrogen levels increase and decrease. So whenever our estrogen levels drop, testosterone goes up. And, and, and our sebaceous glands or our oil glands are very sensitive to t t testosterone. God, I can't say this word to testosterone they are sensitive to it um testosterone stimulates them to uh, secrete more oil or it makes them make like a thicker oil and then again with regards to our cycle all you can do is just make sure you are consistent with your skincare routine then as women we also go through menopause later on in life and what menopause is is literally estrogen levels dropping so you might start breaking out actually during menopause a lot and that's common and i mean it's crappy because already you're dealing with an aging skin now you're dealing with an aging pimply skin ah the joys of being a woman it's fine hey fine being a woman anyway and something else that actually triggers a hormonal acne is stress so whenever we are experiencing high levels of stress um, cortisol is released into our bloodstream and cortisol is a stress hormone basically and it stimulates oil production also so if you're currently going through a stressful period learn how to manage your stress so what works for me is yoga yoga helps with my anxiety it helps relax me it helps calm me also gets me to stretch my body and at my age i need all the stretching i can get everything becomes stiff the older you get um so that's my way of managing stress so find a way that works for you and start managing your stress much more effectively third thing that can actually uh, affect your skin is your digestive health let me start by saying did you know that your gut or your digestive system there we go or your gut actually controls most of your hormones so then again it controls your hormones but more than anything doctors have actually found that there's actually something called a gut skin axis where your gut and your skin are actually linked so i always say that your skin reflects how healthy you are think of somebody who drinks a lot with a poozer face think of somebody who's chronically ill or somebody who's got a chronic sickness and how their skin looks so most people don't have great gut health or great digestive health and um it can contribute to depression anxiety a lot of things really um so making sure that you eat a diet high in fiber um drink lots of water get your probiotics in um make sure you are exercising drink lots of water to move things along i mean guys if you're not if you pass three days and you haven't gone to the bathroom to make a bowel movement, your gut is not functioning very well. Obviously, we all have our own individual routines and patterns, but at least you should be going to the bathroom regularly for a number two. If that's not the case, you've got lots of toxins in your body, you've got to actually just go poop it out. Anyway, so if you're not sure how to eat healthy, you're not sure where to start, you're not sure what kind of foods to eat i do have a six day gut health program um and if you want to find out more about that click a link below this video and i will be in touch with you so for my friend it wasn't the pro product it wasn't the new product that actually caused her acne it was basically a mix of her skincare routine not being great um, it was stress and it was different, definitely lifestyle. So we had to look at those things and um, make um, modifications over there 
to make sure that her skin is improving and right now her skin is looking much much better but remember guys treating acne is uh, um, a marathon it's not a sprint and it's more than one thing that always contributes to acne i hope you learned something new today don't forget to click on the links below to get your free guide four steps to a clear skin it's going to help you establish what you need for a, a great skincare routine also if you already have a skincare routine it's a nice way of, of, of just seeing if you are actually on the right track um also don't forget to, again to click on the links below to find out more about the six day gut health program um, don't forget to subscribe and i will see you next week bye